Molly, you in danger, girl. I'm I'm not paying that. No, sir. Not me. It just kept calling me and calling me. Ugh. Mm. This Wi-Fi is garbage. Trash. <laughs> Everybody. My name is Andrea. If you're new here and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And to my OG subscribers, thanks for sitting back in and welcome back to another video. Okay, so last week we had a massive haul and you would think she has enough, but... Y'all y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? Not so much. You know the motto, design is never truly complete, at least to me, and my home is ever evolving. I find things that I love, that I want to switch out, that I want to mix in. <laughs> right on time right on time <laughs> lately i've been gravitating towards really old feeling pieces kind of retro kind of vintage so old is the new new old is the new new old is the old is the new new so needless to say we have another haul let's hop in a couple videos ago i told you guys that i found some more of the bok marai bowls which you guys know i love and can't get enough of and they were smaller than the ones i had been seeing in the stores i also mentioned that i wish i could find some even smaller ones so i can style them together remember well found them and I'm just in awe now these for some reason they were priced a little bit more than the $25 price point I have been seeing them at um it could be because of the little ridges that they come with um they were $30 and if you know me I bought them not once not twice not thrice but a bunch of times <laughs> a few times okay i got five because like i said i want to group them together there's this image in my head that lives rent free up there and ugh, it's just so good so as you can imagine i'm going to be lining these up on my console table probably in my bedroom i just feel like these against the travertine will be just Mm, scrumptious they're all pretty much this size give or take and have the little ridges so it's gonna give that uniform but not identical look and of course this is from the Bot Morale line at home goods y'all know I've been buying it buying it buying it I have a whole store in here <laughs> of this line it's crazy I just love the old and wobby aesthetic that these give so I it was a no-brainer. Next up is something that I almost skipped out on. Like I was this close to walking out on it in the store and it just kept calling me and calling me. Y'all know I've been trying to scale back on shopping. Well, can't really sell from all the hauls. <laughs> But I really have. I've been trying to not buy so much and been trying to get rid of stuff and minimizing. But I saw these and I was like, Molly. You in danger, girl. But can you blame me? Like, I almost left the store without this. That would have been a tragedy. I would have had buyer's remorse and probably needed therapy because, y'all, I just, I can't. That vein going, do you see? I'm going to put up a close-up. It looks even better in the sun. I shared it on Instagram. And I just... So in love with it you guys know i love a good marble piece and this was an amazing price it was only 30 dollars for this solid burgundy like just mm, good <coughs> got my voice cracking <laughs> and like i said they had two but this one was a little bit richer in that burgundy and that veining i don't know i wish i had a turntable so i can like turn this around really smoothly so you can see that this bold white vein just kind of flows throughout the whole vase and it's ribbed details on details on details i 
Mm. Like I said, it was only $30. I couldn't live in a store. I couldn't. And Burgundy Marble has really been catching my eye lately. These pieces back here are more of that burgundy tone and it really gives retro and vintage. It looks amazing against like wood, wood paneling and plaster. I can leave this by itself or put some florals or branches in it, but yeah. Next up is an Amazon find, yeah. Amazon and I've mentioned Sandra over here on my channel before if y'all don't follow her on Instagram I don't know what you're doing okay because she is just so good at sourcing things when she posted this light fixture instantly purchased now I will put the link down in the um, description box but it is sold out when I clicked on it there was one left and I'm pretty sure this is the one <laughs> because I could only get one and it hasn't been back since, but I've seen them sold in pairs as well. I just don't know what the return policy is. This one said free return, so I really went for this one just in case it didn't work out. But we gonna make this work because it's just too good. Like I said, I was only able to get one. Two would have been ideal, but honestly, I love how one fixture looks in spaces. If I can't get another one, it's totally fine because this, the impact that just one would have it's enough for me. I have plans to put this on the side of my TV. I don't know if I want to do my living room or my bedroom just yet. Mm. So we shall see. But you can hardwire this into the wall. Of course, y'all know I'm not doing that. I plan on getting um, a rechargeable light bulb to put in here and I can still get the light. And y'all, it's just so like, look how vintagey and expensive and substantial this is. Like amazing after i bought it i went to kind of do a search and i've seen it in so many spaces that i love and i've also seen them on sites that they are way more than i think i paid like 88 dollars for this yeah it was like 88 dollars i'm sure this is like a dupe of the original i've seen them way overpriced like and while i love this light fixture i'm i'm not paying that no sir not me and i love the tone of brass this is it doesn't look cheapy so this was a good one. Next up, more brass for that I found these at Home Goods. These are clearly taper candle holders, but y'all look how good. So, so good. They're already patina and kind of dull looking, which is actually a style that I love, especially when it comes to buying brass. I plan on putting these in the windowsill of my living room because they look so good paired with my poof that I got from the CB2 outlet. And they were only $13 a piece. Duh. We can do candles, we can do empty, just use them as sculptural pieces. And yeah, like these were amazing. I love the shape of them. Around the neck you get this arch detail and then it's like cubicle around the body. And then when you get down to the base, it kind of like puddles out. I don't know what it is about candle holders. I've been buying so many lately. I think it's because they're so timeless. At least that's what I keep telling myself. But these are truly like timeless to me because brass, it just never seems to go out of style. Had to have it. Next up, we have some stools. So this is the first one I got from Home Goods. It was only $25. When I tell you this thing is solid, it's solid. Like I've stood on this and it's held me. And I'm not the smallest girl in the world, okay? And I didn't fall through. <laughs> I love the shape of this and I also love how low it is. Of course I have a couple stools here in my home but I don't really have any this size and I don't know about y'all but when I'm home I like to lay down. When I'm on the couch I'm probably laying down and I don't really want to reach up to get a drink. Sometimes I'll put my drinks on the floor just because it's easier to kind of <laughs> be lazy and just reach down there and get it. So this is actually better for me when I'm lounging around the house because it's so low to the ground that I don't have to like reach up to get my drink to get a snack I also fell in love with the wood grain in it it looks very not very distressed but just enough to where it looks like it's a little bit worn it's been used I love that look and the tone of the wood is good too so yeah like I said this is $25 from home goods and this is the second stool I got 
Now, the selling point for this was the waterfall shade. I love it. It's so different from anything I usually see. And I also love that the tone of this one is a little bit more gray. So if I wanna cool it down, this will be perfect. And again, the size is amazing. I love that I can use this next to my bathtub if I want to, or if you want to style next to your bed, but you don't want something super overstated. You know what I mean? Sometimes taller stools can kind of take over the space. So yeah, we love her. I love the way it's crafted. Like I said, it's waterfall, but you also get this little detail here in the cracks, which is super, super cute. Did I say this was $25? This was $25 as well. Okay, guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me. So happy with my purchases today. Blah, blah, blah. Woo. So happy with my purchases and so excited to style them with you guys. Those videos are coming up soon and you don't want to miss it. So don't forget to like, comment, and share. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you haven't. Take care of yourselves, those around you, and your mental health. And I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, peace out.